World of Jumanji is the brand new for 2023 area at Chessington World of Adventures, featuring the world's first shuttle launch B&M wing coaster, Mandrill Mayhem. During the regular theme park operating day, you can't simply stroll up to the ride whenever you feel like and join the line. You can only get on Mandrill Mayhem by joining a virtual line through a QR code once inside the park. The exception to this, however, is if you stay at one of the official on-site accommodations, you get one hour of early ride time before the park opens to the public, when in theory, you can ride Mandrill Mayhem as many times as you like. So how does this work? Is it actually worth booking a hotel room just to get into early ride time? And how many rides can we get in on the brand new roller coaster in the early ride time? All this and more coming up in this episode. Hey, this is Stu for Out On Back Travel. Here on this channel, we make videos like this one to help you plan your own theme park adventures. If you enjoy this video or find the information useful, please help me out by dropping the video a like and leaving a comment below. During 2023, if you stay over at one of the official Chessington World of Adventure hotels or glamping, you get early access to selected rides and attractions one hour before the park opens to regular day guests, giving you a great head start on your attraction count. This includes the brand new for 2023 World of Jumanji, including the Mandrill Mayhem roller coaster. The unique selling point is that during the early ride time, you can just join the line for the coaster as many times as you like. You don't have to join the virtual queue, which you do during the regular park operating hours. So is it worth booking a hotel room just to get in extra rides on the new roller coaster without the virtual queue faff? And how does it work? Let's find out then. Guests staying over at the Chessington Safari or Azteca hotels enter the early ride time by a special gate which is located outside the Temple restaurant in the Azteca hotel. The gate opens at 8.45am and we found the queue started to form around 8.30am. There are amazing friendly staff who would check your hotel reservation and your valid theme park admission. If you were good to go, they'd then give you a wristband to show that you were good to join in on the early ride time session. The wristbands are then checked at the entrances to the attractions on the early ride time just to make sure that nobody has sneaked in. Before entering the park, we also pass through a security check, including metal detector and back search, just to make sure everyone is safe. As of our visit in summer 2023, the rides available for early ride time were Mandrill Mayhem, Ostrich Stampede, Mamba Strike, Gruffalo, Treetop Hoppers, Jungle Rangers, River Rafts, Elmer's Flying Elephants, Tiny Truckers, and Room on the Broom. This is subject to change and based on availability, so do check what's on the schedule before making your own reservation. So early ride time started promptly at 9am, so at pace we quickly crossed the park over to the new world of Jumanji area. This area is so well themed you can tell a lot of detail and care has been put into putting it all together. Mandrill Mayhem is the perfect centrepiece, a wing coaster meaning the seats are suspended over the sides of the track so you don't have a roller coaster track above or below you. It's a shuttle coaster meaning it's not a complete circuit. So when you get towards the end of the course, you then travel back to the start, meaning you do the course both forwards and backwards. Mandrill Mayhem is fun, adventurous, and a little wild. The DNA is just completely Chessington World of Adventures. It's a perfect fit for this park. Especially for the younger thrill seekers, I'm really impressed that it's only a 1.2 meter height requirement, especially with the inversion and the rolls on the wing coasters are always fantastic and this is no exception with a gentle floaty feeling. The station looks fab, the mantle trains are so fun too and the vests aren't too restrictive. Sadly, rather than going for a colourful mandrel butt, they turn the back row around to face in the opposite direction. This is the row to sit on if you're looking for an extra frill, as it does have a little extra kick, especially when you get to the top of the first spike, which is almost an inversion in this row. For the first ride, we waited around 15 minutes. I guess everyone had the same idea to head to the big shiny new roller coaster, and who can blame them? 15 minutes is not bad at all for a brand new roller coaster. The subsequent rides we only waited one cycle to load. 
and we got lots of front and back rows, which was amazing. At the halfway point, 30 minutes into the hour of early ride time, we got an impressive three rides in on this brand new roller coaster. And then, unfortunately, she broke. As with any new technology, you have to expect those little teething challenges, but we got to do the other rides in the area, including Mamba Strike, which is the theme park version of the Miami Trip ride you'd normally find on the fairground circuit, and the Bouncy Ostrich Stampede, both really fun additions to Chessington World of Adventures. We are then able to take a gentle stroll over to the entrance of Dragon's Fury just before the park opened at 10am and the crowd swarmed in, so we were some of the first guests to get on board the roller coaster, putting us at the front of a 30 minute queue, so we saved some extra time there as well. During the hotel ERT, we were also able to scan in on the QR code to join the Mandrel Mayhem virtual queue line. So our time came around immediately after we came off Dragon's Fury. So even though the park had only been open officially for 15 minutes, we had ridden Dragon's Fury, Ostrich Stampede, Mamba Strike and Mandrel Mayhem four times. So I definitely feel this was worth it. On a busy day in the summer sunshine, we'd really ticked a lot of the main attractions off and had a great head start on our day at Chessington World of Adventures. As a Merlin annual pass holder, I booked the Chessington Safari Hotel through their holiday club, which gives annual pass holders special discounted rates on hotel stays. I booked a zebra room in the Safari Hotel for £135.20 for two adults, so just around £68 each. For a weekend in the summer in London, I feel this is really good value. The hotel not only had free parking, they also offered free EV charging, so you were able to juice up our little Corsa overnight. And you get an all you care to eat buffet breakfast. The buffet breakfast at the Mullen hotels are always great. I do love staying in the Chessington Safari Hotel, it has a great vibe to it and feels a lot posher than its Alton Towers counterparts. The zebra decorations in the room allowed me to live out my best Lily Savage fantasy. There was also a separate sleeping area for the kids which was amazingly themed and had a puzzle game to solve which opened a safe to reveal chocolates and teddies. So come on, it's worth it just to get the two Freddos. We genuinely spent too long trying to work this out though. So all in all, a lovely hotel stay along with the early ride entry, I do feel this was the best way to experience Chessington in 2023 and make sure we could get in a few more rides on the brand new roller coaster, especially while it's operating with its virtual line. What do you think though? Would you book a hotel room just to guarantee yourself some extra rides on the brand new roller coaster? Have you ridden Mandrel Mayhem? What did you think of the brand new roller coaster? Do let me know in the comments below. And remember, until next time, stay safe on the way out and back.